for this crystallization process, real-time microscopy was used to understand the mechanism that was causing slow filtration of the isolated material. The first important crystallization mechanism that was observed was the growth and agglomeration of the seeds soon after they were added to a supersaturated solution. Next, something interesting happened. Fine needles began to grow out of the agglomerated seeds, forming delicate dendritic structures. This is something that would be very difficult to see with an offline microscope because the mechanical action of sampling would probably destroy them. The final mechanism observed makes it very clear why the filtration rate is slow. The delicate needles broke away, resulting in a significant secondary nucleation event, which was accelerated by a fast cooling rate towards the end of the process. So to review, three mechanisms are revealed here seed growth and agglomeration, dendritic growth, and secondary nucleation. Using this mechanistic insight, two actions can be taken. First, look at how the seeds are prepared and try to avoid this dendritic growth. And secondly, look at slower cooling to minimize the secondary nucleation.